We are live. Okay. Uh, crazy. All right. Let's let's turn the camera around. Okay. Let's try that one more time. I I like this camera angle. I just don't like when the when the gimbal is showing. Yeah. You see, like it shows, but I, I kind of like the. Eh. I guess we'll change it again. All right. We got regular camera. Uh, uh, Orlando Brown clips. Oh, you're a big fan of Orlando Brown. Yeah, that guy, uh, <laughs> man, drugs are bad, uh, but uh, he definitely uh, does entertain for sure. Cuss like a sailor. Who doesn't? Cody T. Mike in three, two, four, five, one. Christina Finch. Eric Singleton. Stacy Star six, seven. Can't really see the name very well because the sun is in my uh, in my eyes. So, anyways, uh, what is up, guys? How are we doing? Uh, Poe Peter Yellow Cloud. Hi, right. She Mill. Is that what? Snee Mill and Kale Male. What up? What up? How are you doing? In Baby Chicken Studios from North Wales in the UK. What's up, guys? Uh, quick stream. Uh, I haven't streamed in a while, and I'm probably not going to be able to stream for another while. Uh, been, uh, I don't know. I just haven't really thought about streaming. So I thought, well, you know, hey, while we go to the next uh, location for my video that I'm doing right now, we're going to take a, a walk. And uh, we're going to take a walk and uh, just got to finish a... A video I uh, hello dog hello doggy hello doggy the doggy in the car this is a uh, very nice uh, neighborhood right here but of course uh, looks can be deceiving so um, currently in Los Angeles right now uh, I really um, Los Angeles is a cluster something of crime and I, I'm really not gonna be able to do a whole lot of videos here just because it's just, you know, you're visiting with your family and your friends, and I just I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of videos here. Um, but however, uh, I'll try to get as many as I can, can done. Uh, you know, it's like the summertime, so the sun is still setting around 6.30 or so, but uh, next month, the, the, with the time will spring forward. Cannot wait. Definitely cannot wait until that happens. So anyways. Uh, what else are we talking about over here? So I'm going to finish up this. This is just, you know, because the, uh, you know, it's just really, really annoying in Los Angeles to like park and drive to go do videos. And you really, really got to, you got to do your damnness when you do vlogs in LA to really map it out. Well, like you got to make sure your stories are all kind of close together. And, uh, I had a late start today. So I'm just, I, I've, I've kind of given up on uh, Los Angeles uh, in terms of like really doing any videos that I really wanted to get done. So any video that I'm going to be doing right now is all stuff that, uh, it's just like quick stories. There's nothing, nothing really long. Uh, okay, not this street. But uh, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be leaving town tomorrow and uh, I'll be going to a secret location somewhere in central california i don't know how long i'll be gone but I'll, i'm definitely coming back to la but not really to do any videos and if i do do videos it's just going to be like really like eight ten minute videos i'm not really doing anything terribly long because i just don't have done time to do it I like multiple locations i don't know los angeles is a place that it's best if you go or if i go here for uh, a month and uh, i don't know if i can stay out here for a month that's crazy so, Cherry at 916. What's up? Miss Reagan is in the building. King Savage. What up? What up? Uh, Terry from Kerrville, Texas. I wonder if I've been there before. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe. Uh, per Anderson from Denmark. What's up? I love how that guy honked at that dude. Like, because his door was open while he was getting out of his car. You see how stupid people are here in Los Angeles? There's, I don't remember when I grew up here as a kid, I don't remember people being stupid like that. I think social media has really kind of made this place to be some, uh, 
I don't know. I don't want to start ranting about this place, but whatever. Anyways. Dark, dark, rainy Europe. Somebody's from dark, rainy Europe. Well, hello from beautiful weather, uh, Los Angeles, California. 60, I want to guess it's 60 degrees. 62. Yeah, no, this is a very nice day. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is... This is actually like dang near perfect weather. Not to not to throw it in your faces or anything like that, but yeah, nice weather out here. So anyways, I'm not really sure how much further I gotta walk. I think I, I think I, I think it's gonna be about a mile I'm walking, so uh, yeah. D Williams was good. Uh, greetings from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Have I been there before? I'm not sure. A lot of places in New Mexico I haven't been to, but uh, one of the states that I got to do more videos pertaining to the, you know, whatever, you know, stories, ideas I have in my folders, and uh, also getting more to the the old uh, old wild wild west videos. So yeah. Sandra Hunter from one of my favorite states, Baton, not Baton Rouge, but West Virginia. And I see somebody from Baton Rouge. Oh, Jody Ploche, what's up, man? Bro, uh, I would have, hey, uh, I'm going to give you a hauler sometime next week, man. I wanted to just uh, wrap it up for a while. I'll be down your way, hopefully, uh, hopefully when I get back to town, man, because uh, my van is on the kaputs right now. Uh, it needs, uh, Needs a little bit of love. I don't know if I want to invest $1,200 in a van that has 372,000 miles on it, but you know, I'm one of those guys that like, when I have a van, like I like to keep it going as long as I can. So um, when I get back, I, uh, I'm flying out of uh, LA probably Sunday I'm going to leave, not this Sunday, next Sunday. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to fly to. I'll either fly to, uh, um, you know what I'm thinking about doing? Since I really like, I was thinking about just kind of like flying, like hopping around, like, I don't know, like I was thinking, okay, go to Las Vegas for a few days and then fly to Albuquerque for a few days and then fly to El Paso for a few days and then fly, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I've never done anything like that before, but I, I think it'd be kind of cool. I just don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I really don't know what to do. It, is this okay this is not the street that i'm looking for all right i hope uh i paid uh i paid two hours on the meter so i hope i have plenty of time because this is further than i thought so yeah uh yes i am in los angeles right now i'm leaving tomorrow uh i'm leaving tomorrow and i'm going going to a location unknown, Central California. I'm going there for about three days, and then I'll come back for another three days, and then I'm leaving. And uh, like per usual, every time I come to Los Angeles, I will never get anywhere near any videos that I want to get done done. I think next time I come over here, uh, I'm either going to drive my van out here, or when I fly out here, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to sublet. Or try to look to see if I could sublet somebody's apartment for a, a month or so. You know, if I had my own place, because I, I, I'm not really trying to rent a room from somebody. Because I need a uh, complete silence when I'm looking stuff up. I don't want to rent a room and, you know, people like bother me. Or what have you. So, yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't know. Um, but I will not be coming back here probably for the remainder of the year. So I, I think once I leave here, I, I highly doubt I would come back. I highly doubt it, which is a shame because there's a lot of videos that I li I'd like to do, a lot of graves I'd like to visit. Um, I think I just got a text. Yeah, I got a text message from Kale saying, she goes, why don't you go to Aaron Carter's grave? And I said, well, that's the problem is like, there's too many stories. Like there's, there's too many, like, there's other graves I'd rather go to than his. Not, not. Don't mean that in a bad way. I just, I, there's other graves I'd rather go do than to go to Aaron Carter's. 
but I, I might go do it real quick just to post it on my Facebook and then maybe I'll come back for it for YouTube another day. I don't know yet. I, I have to see. I have to see. There's just there's just too there's too much stuff out here. There's too much stuff out here. Uh, Eric Singleton. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, we got another West Virginian, Mystic One. What's up, Yogurt Thief? Checking in. Yogurt Thief. That's right. Stealing yogurt on the job. It's a. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs, uh, what has happened to the yogurt industry. You know, I remember when I was a kid, yogurt was really delicious. And then now it's like they have these weird yogurts that are sour and they don't taste very good. And they try to sell you like by like, oh, it comes with, you know, cereal and you can mix it together. Yeah, well, the reason why you're putting cereal with this yogurt is because it doesn't taste good in the first place. Now, you got to think if you have to put something in your yogurt to make it taste good, it's, you know, it's probably not that good. But I don't know. Just a little bit yogurt rant. It's all right, guys. Just a little yogurt rant. Check out this house. Does anybody even live here? Okay, this uh, looks uh, this looks a little. Uh, this looks like it needs a little love over here. This this house right here. That's crazy. Wow. This is, does anybody live here? Look 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 at their look at their grass. It's. Uh, Wow. Yeah, look, wow, look at this place. I bet you, I bet you it's empty. Nobody lives here. It doesn't look like it. You know, it's so funny. I don't know what's up with this house. It, it's definitely, nobody lives here. And, uh, oh wait, no, somebody does live there. Oh, somebody is in there. Oh, wow. Is that a hoarder? Oh. Oh, there's somebody in there. Oh, wow. I think he heard me. He said, no, somebody does live here. Okay, let me see. Is this the street? Nope. Got to keep walking. All right, guys. Wow, this guy doesn't really care much about his house. But that is one of the creepiest. That is the creepiest house. Oh, and, and then... Oh, that's not his Tesla. This must be the next door house right here. Yeah, what's up with people like this? I don't get them. He's probably, he's probably one of those uh, burnt-out hippies from the 1970s. Just a burnt-out hippie. That's all. He smoked himself and LSD'd himself into oblivion, and now he's just a smoked out guy. I see these people all the time out here. Oh, he got a got a newer looking house. What do you call that? Like mod modern architecture style house? Uh, yeah, the house looks okay. I mean, it doesn't fit the neighborhood, but you know. See, that's that's what the see. This is a nice looking house right here. This is nice. Hey, if you're in the stream and you own this house, say, hey man, get off my get off my sidewalk or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I love the people that come into these neighborhoods. And, you know, because I like, you know, I'm one of those guys, I like everything to remain old, old looking, you know? I don't like things to change. You know, like this is a newer house. This house is probably built in the 90s. Maybe 90s, early 2000s, I'm guessing. See, this is an older house. This was probably built in the 40s or the 50s. So I like houses like this, you know, because they got a character. But then you get these guys that come in here and they're millionaires and they work for NBC or for Fox Studios or whatever. And then they build these houses, which they, they it doesn't fit the neighborhood, but that's what you do. Like they knock the house down and they just build what they want. And then they, they just put a modern look to it, like these big, big windows. What? I don't know why you want a bunch of people looking at you while you're sitting in your kitchen. I don't understand, but see, that's what I like right there, that house. Yeah, have the shrubs all high so you can't see can't see me I, I, I can't see you except I got cameras out yeah yeah I like I like regular houses like this you know just regular houses and then you get these guys that they build these uh, big uh, they're not ugly not at all they, they look cool just I don't know I wouldn't I wouldn't isn't it funny how I'm talking about how people's houses look and I live in a van that's hilarious that's the kind of person I am though I have an opinion about everything And I know some of you guys are like, well, Lamont, you complain all the time. I know, I do. I never said I didn't. It's just who I am. That's all. It's no big deal. No big deal. Uh, what's your name? Cheyenne Hunter from Stockton, California, the murder capital. I wish I had time to go up there. Yeah, I wish I had time to go up there. Um, I don't have time to fly to, to drive 400 some odd miles. That's why when I, when I take off out of here, 
I'm taking off next Sunday or next Monday. I'm not really sure. Um, sometime it's either Sunday or Monday. I don't know. But, uh, I was thinking like, how about if I flew up to the Bay area for a week and then I flew to, I don't know. What if I flew to Arizona, just like a random place, you know, but the problem is it's like it's it's difficult to like to just jump up and do something random and you don't have anything ready to go and i don't know it's just <sighs> oh woe is me right always complaining i don't know anyways how am i liking L uh la i don't no i only came out here to see my grandmother i didn't even really care to do any videos to tell you the truth but you know while i'm out here i might as well make a couple bucks and do some videos and uh, do some other videos that won't make a couple bucks but are concerning to me which is why i'm going up north because there's been a there's a murder story a murder case unsolved murder for many years and it's uh and i want to uh i want to do a vlog on it that's why i'm going up north that's the number one story i want to do and uh yeah so anyways very very lovely houses here uh, definitely would never be able to afford to live in this uh, in this uh, area unless I rented the room, which uh, which I wouldn't. No, go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to get ran over. Yep. Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper lady. That uh, Mini Cooper is going to be in the shop a lot of times in its life before it finally breaks down and they get fed up with it. Mini Coopers look cool. The newer ones, they look cool, but it's just. It's not the best made car from what I know anyways Lamont you're complaining again I know I, I do I, I do I do complain a lot even my grandmother she's like you know you do you do complain a lot I said I know I know I know anyways Norma Chester what up what up what time am I, I don't, uh, what time is it uh, it is Somebody that wants to know what time it is. It's 2.19. So I believe you are eight hours ahead of us, or nine hours, or something, one of those. Uh, Hustleman, Hustleman from Florida, what's up, bro? Right back at you, my man. Yeah, so anyways. Uh, we got great visitations in the building with a stump. What's up? How's the grave business over in yonder? How's the how's the cemetery biz? Is it good over there? Yeah, I got to get back to doing more cemetery videos. I just uh, my vi my videos are so scattered right now. I don't feel I can get back to my regularly scheduled upload until I stop traveling so much. Well, we'll shoot. You know, I think I'm going to shoot for April first to start uploading four videos a week again I, I don't know I wanted to do it in, in February but it's impossible because I just I, I don't want to upload one video in Monroe Louisiana and then the next video is in Baltimore I, I just I want some kind of boy I'm still looking for the street where is this place at I think I'm going to be walking damn near to Fairfax ah, you know what if if I tell you what kids I tell you what if I get a ticket for my meter see this is why this is a perfect example of why I wanted to drive out here in my van because I wanted to bring my electric scooter. See, that way I could just buzz all around this area and just do a bunch of quick stories and either upload them separately or put them all together as one. See, now it's like I didn't really know. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to be walking up to. Uh... Oh, boy, I don't know. I might turn around and go back. Well, thank you very much, uh, Miss Faust. Faust in the building. Uh, come to Anaheim. Uh, Anaheim, Anaheim. I'm not going to have time to go down there. Uh, I'm telling you that, that this is why I need, when I come out here, I need to stay here for a month or two because I, I, I can't do it. Oh, they, somebody left their garage open. Oh, that's an old Mustang. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Well, not really. Can, can, can we just admit the truth? Like, that wasn't true. I just lied to you guys, and I apologize. I don't think that old Mustang looked cool. I think the old Mustangs look kind of weird. I'm not into them. There's a lot of other uh, cars that I think I looked... Oh, speak... Hey, hey, guys. 
Wow. Now this is a cool, this is a cool car that I'm about to show you. You just seen that black Mustang, right? That ain't nothing. Get this. You wanna, you wanna see the coolest car in the neighborhood? Check this bad boy out. Bam! Geo Metro, baby. This is the coolest car in the neighborhood. I used to have one. I had a 91 Geo Metro. Look at that. That is awesome. You guys probably think, well, he looks like he's um, filling up gallons of water. So you guys probably think that I'm like being facetious. No, this, I love Geo Metro. I used to have one with like a little hitch and I had a little trailer. Three cylinder, 50 miles to the gallon. Well, this one's a automatic, so it probably gets, probably gets high 30s. That is cool. I like that. That is that is cool. Geo Metro three cylinders. Little banged up, but uh, hey, it's still on the road, kids. Like that. See, I would love to interview the owner of that car. I wish I never sold my Geo Metro. I don't think the guy that has that Geo Metro owns this place. I don't think so. I don't think so. More more modern houses. Wow, another one over there. Another one over there. You know, one day all these houses are gonna look like that out here. I'll let you know when I find another cool car. But uh, I also like the older Priuses. Th those are cool too for, you know, gas saving or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, anyways, blah, blah, blah. Got uh, another Mini Cooper. Uh, Sienna, Toyota Sienna. That's a nice looking minivan. How come I don't own one of these? It's too new, it's not my style. I can never see myself driving anything nice. I just like something that's already beat up and paint's faded, there's dents, stuff like that. You know what's so funny, as I'm walking through this neighborhood, I wonder who's famous that lives in this neighborhood. I don't know if there's anybody super famous or they're probably at one time or another were super famous. And uh, maybe they're just like an old Hollywood actor. Whose car is this? A BMW 535i? Yeah, I'm not a fan of BMW, so. But I'm showing it just a classic BMW little, what is this, a 90, 91, 89? It looks like an 88, 80, late 80s. That's cool. That's cool. And then, of course, uh, you see these all over the place, this Tesla right here, black Tesla. I'm not into electric cars, but hey, if you can afford it, go ahead. Why not? I'm sure it's a comfortable car. I just don't want to be reliant on uh, charging it. I just, you know, gas. I don't got time to charge. There's another Tesla right there. When am I coming to Trenton to do one about Christine? Huggins, send me a email to Lamont at large stories at gmail.com Lamont at large stories at gmail.com or you could just send it to Lamont at large at gmail.com whichever one you choose um, Trenton uh, I'll be that I'll be that way I want to say hopefully by May hopefully by May I'll be over there yeah I'll be staying on the East Coast for the pretty much the entire year up until it gets too cold okay let's continue to walk hopefully we can find this street because uh see i could rent that electric scooter right there i just don't want to download another app on my phone that's a weird looking car I know you guys are you guys must be bored i think i think the only reason why some of you guys are still in here is because uh you feel sorry for me i'm sorry <clears throat> i try to be more entertaining i'm sure you guys would rather me be in a cemetery i just uh i don't know hey uh just uh i'm behind in the comments i know but i'm just curious leave a comment if, do, do you would you guys be interested if i uh, if certain celebrities that don't have a grave if i went to their house instead um, there's a house I really want to go to. I won't be able to go to today because I have to read up about the person. I mean, I could probably like, I, I want to go to B Arthur's house. Uh, she played, uh, 
Well, she was on a couple different TV shows. Um, the only ones I know that she was on, of course, Golden Girls and Mod. But I don't know, like, you know, when she was born. So I have to kind of get all that information together. But she died in her home in Bel Air. I want to go to her house because she doesn't have a grave. And I love the Golden Girls. I also want to do a video where I show, like, the Golden Girls house. Like, the like the house the, that they would show, like, in the when they would come back from a commercial. I don't know where it's at, but see, videos like that, I'm kind of, oh guys, uh-oh, I think we have another treat. I think we have another treat. That's right. No, not that van. Yeah, that looks like Simon Cowell. Is that Simon Cowell? I, mean, I wonder how many famous people's homes I've, I've, pa I've passed through. But uh, anyways, get this guys, we got another treat for you. I can't believe it. Two in five minutes, another Geo Metro. This would be a 1996 or 1997, 1998, 1999, one of those. I think they stopped making it in 2000. That, look at that, that is a gem. Geo Metro, three cylinders. Wow, I can't believe there's a second one. nice if you've never driven a geo metro it's like driving a golf cart not excuse me not a golf cart a goat cart oh we got another classic vehicle right here still haven't found the street that i'm looking for what is this is this a what what is this a datsun look at the little station wagon datsun is this a datsun yes it is wow Okay, maybe I should start a channel where I just kind of show old cars that are still on the streets here in Los Angeles. Datsun. I wonder if it still runs or if they just use it for storage. It looks, it looks like it hasn't ran in some time, but um, that's a cool car. I like those cars. I like old cars like that. Still looking for cool cars, st still looking for my street so I could turn up and turn it up. But yeah, send me that story, Christine Huggins, because uh, send, send that to me, please, so I can look that up. Uh, my goal for 2024 is to, I mean, I don't, I never see myself uploading five times a week. I think that's over, you know, I don't know, pun intended, overkill. Uh, four times a week is fine, but then that's why I got Fascinating Graveyard. So if I want to get a story up and then I'll just put it on a separate channel, I just don't want to over, I don't want to over, uh, overload you guys with content i just i see other youtubers that they upload like every stinking day i can't do that i mean i'll upload every day but it has to be spread out i don't want to be one of those guys that uh you know whatever so huh anyways you had an earthquake yesterday oh that ain't no good i don't like earthquakes Okay, where is this place at? I've already kind of, I've already kind of walked a bit much. So, I, okay, if we don't find something in three streets, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn up. Uh, are you friend or foe? Uh, friend. Dog was a little bit skittish. This is a cool looking house right here. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine my door being like on the street like this. That's a little dangerous. I, don't, I wouldn't like that for security reasons. Yeah, I don't want that. There goes Lamont complaining again. Yeah, I need to be in a, if I ever bought a place, it has to be like a, it has to be gated and all that stuff. Watching from San Juan Capistrano. Capistrami from Capriati's. Uh, don't believe I'm going as far as that, but uh, I will be on the coast north. I got a story. I don't know if you guys would be interested in it. We'll see. We'll see if you guys are interested in it. Uh, I'll be in the... Uh, well, I don't want to say where I'll be at, because then if I say it and I don't go, then that's my fault. But uh, uh, I'll be uh, go along the coast. I got a uh, story to do in... Uh, Santa Barbara. I'll just leave it at that. You guys can kind of guess what I'm going to go cover. But I need to get to Santa Barbara. And uh, I'll be I'll be over there probably Sunday night. 
That's my guess. Uh, that's uh, my guess. Oh, wow. We walked all the way to Fairfax High School. Jeez Louise. And I still didn't see the street. Well, oh, let's, uh, let's, let's, I don't know. Where is this place? I used to go to that school. That's my old high school, Fairfax. Of course, I didn't graduate. You, I'm sure you guys are not surprised. Nope, I didn't like school. School was kind of boring. School was kind of boring. My mother, as a kid, as a teenager, she lived somewhere around here. I'm not really sure where. I forgot what she told me. Wouldn't that be funny if we ran into my mom? That'd be kind of funny. I'm like, what the heck are you doing here? You don't live in this area. You couldn't afford to. Uh, I don't think my mother could afford to live. No, she, there's no way she could afford to live here. She'd have to work a full-time job, 50 hours a week, working overtime. Okay, well, we, we uh, you know, I, I'm guessing. I hope my battery doesn't die. Well, I got other phones, so I can do the, I can finish the video on my other phone. Hey, look at that, ProMaster. Hey, what a, ooh, what a sunroof. I mean, excuse me, a solar panel on top of the roof. All right, don't like the tires. Tires are kind of stupid, but. Uh, let's see what other things I can complain about for you guys to listen to me complain. Oh, this is a cool car. This is a Chevy Sonic turquoise. Kind of a cool color. I like this car, small. Yeah, Chevy uh, Sonic. All right, yeah, that's a cool little car. I like that. I like those little hatchbacks. Those are my favorite. All right, cool. That's a cool car. See? Oh, we got an older Prius, 2006, 2005, maybe 2004. Yeah, this is a nice little, Priuses are good cars. I like this car. If I lived in LA and I had to buy a car, I would buy a Prius. And then when the battery stops working, which the car can't work without the battery, I would be upset because those batteries are, are uh, you know, th you know, that guy, there's a guy that just passed on an electric scooter. His shorts were a little too short. Uh, that, that actually bothers me. Yeah, if I were a cop, I would actually pull him over and then put pants on him. Put some pants on, bro. You're you're too old to be wearing like five-year-old little boy shorts. That's creepy. Oh, we got a bird feeder here, and I don't have any bird seed on me. It's in my car, though. Wow, they haven't filled that up in a while. I wonder if they would be mad if I filled it up. They probably would think I was a weirdo. See, if I had a bird feeder like that, it'd be filled up all the time. Get some chimes, stuff like that. This is a cool little hangout. I'm sure none of them that live here are actually from Los Angeles. Most of these people that live in this area, I bet you they're not from Los Angeles. There's a lot of transients here. A lot of transients. Little hummingbird right there. A little hummingbird action. Got to have to clip that out and uh, upload that as a uh, very, very slow. Oh, what do we got right here? Uh, is this a dumbbell? Oh, somebody just Peloton. Okay, we got a... Got a, uh, okay, should I carry this with me for protection in case somebody asks me for a dollar? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we'll just leave that right back there. Some, I'm sure somebody can use it. I'm probably going to regret, regret that later, not carrying that with me. Okay, I hear annoying, annoying music, so that means I'm close to Melrose. Oh, boy. Okay. This is a very uh, trendy street but it's also can be dangerous a lot of people get robbed here on melrose uh. well thank you anuk mullins anuk come to england I'm, I'm trying i'm trying i might go into compton i already did i did a video that i probably don't want to post because it's not really entertaining i might just put that on lamont on the run yeah it's just not a, what is this it's terrible. I hear terrible music. This is what this is the music you listen to when you're on drugs. That's druggy music. Okay, we got a car right here. Uh, this looks like it used to be a Toyota something. Yeah, you can tell this is like this is like a kid's car, like a younger dude. I'd, I'd be way too old to drive this. What is this? A Toyota? I forgot what it is because it has a body kit on it, so it doesn't look like original. But 
I mean, you know, if I was 24, 25 years old, yeah, I would love this car. But when you get older, it's like you want to get away from flashy vehicles. But uh, I think it's a Toyota Matrix, possibly. I don't know. All right, all right let's keep it. Let's keep it pushing. This is the uh, Hat Club. The Hat Club. I guess they sh they sell overpriced hats. All right, so. I'm looking for a particular place. Ah, okay, that's okay. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay, I found what I'm looking for. Blue Sea right here. Okay, so this this is the place that I was looking for to conclude my video. Um, so across the street, you see the shoe palace right there. Well, so the shoe palace, they sell shoes. Right? They sell shoes. In this place, they sell shoes as well. So this, there, this was the site of a mini riot that occurred right here. So back in August, I think the 11th or the 12th of 2021, uh, the shoe palace right here, they were doing some kind of a, to get this guys, I don't know what these, I don't know what these uh, people are thinking, right? But they were doing a, a raffle. Now, granted, I, I'm not a shoe person. I don't know about shoes. But they were doing a, a raffle for the chance to be given the opportunity not to win shoes, no, to be able to buy shoes, right? It's one of, you know, you'll go to these shoe stores and you'll see like, you know, don't get me started on the whole shoe thing. But uh, so on that day, there was like a big line. I don't know how many people were here, but it was a lot because I guess there was a, a, some kind of a shoe that everybody wanted or whatever. So, I, there was some kind of a, it, it was super, super busy, right? At this shoe store. And so there was a guy that worked here. His name was Jaron Bradford, 26 years of age, Jaron Bradford. So he goes over here, but this is day off. So they call him, I guess he lives in the area. So they call him and they say, hey, can you come down? Because it's really, really busy. So being a nice guy that I'm sure he was, he goes down to the shoe store because there, there's like a mini rise. Everyone's like, there's a lot of people. It's probably a couple hundred people right here. And a fight breaks out between customers, right? And he tries to break it up. And some 16 year old punk pulls out a gun and shoots and kills him. Right, right here. He's murdered right here. Over shoes, over raffle tickets to be given a raffle ticket so you can buy them. I'm sorry guys, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I got something to say to you guys. Shoe culture is stupid. To, to, who cares? I mean, I like shoes too, don't get me wrong. I don't collect shoes. I like them because they protect my feet when I'm walking, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Just, uh, just something dumb. I want to, uh, before I end the live, I want to show you guys something uh, really quick. Uh, this, this, this story, it's not personal to me, but it, uh, it's a tragedy that affected uh, my brother. So this is Fairfax High School. And uh, I used to go here for about two and a half months. Um, across the street is where I got uh, slapped in the face by somebody over some uh, graffiti stuff uh, and I was I was uh, surrounded five against one you know and they those odds were not in my favor I also got punched in the face right here yeah punched in the face of course you know five more guys around me uh, here's the truth here's a true fact if I ever to this day and I'm not being I'm not I'm being serious if I ever see that guy 
I'm going, I'm going to open up a can on him. But I, I never was able to find him ever since. It happened th almost 30 years ago. If I, if I see him to this day, I'm going to open a can on him. I promise. I, 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 I hold grudges. I'm a grudge holder. So this is Fairfax High School. Um, and uh, so we're gonna walk. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so, so my brother used to go to this high school in the 80s and uh, he had a uh, girlfriend. Her name was Siobhan. And uh, I, 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 I don't think I, I might be getting the, the name wrong, but I remember her name was Siobhan. It wasn't LaVon, I think it was Siobhan. And uh, after school one day, uh, and this was like, this was back in the 80s when like gang banging was crazy. When they were doing the colors thing, like you wear red, you wear blue. And uh, so she would have been, I think she was at the bus stop. So that's the bus stop right there. And uh, I think the year was 1988. And somebody, you know, school let out right here. And uh, somebody came by and uh, killed her, shot her from the, from a, and I don't know if that murder was ever solved or not. I've kind of, uh, you know, my, my brother's one of those guys that he's just like not gonna really, you know, he's like, you know, it's not that he doesn't want to talk about it, he just kind of, you know, it happened so many years ago. But, uh, I, I mean, if I could find any stories on it, I would do the story myself. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, that, that really affected him. And uh, he was only like 16 years old at the time, I think. She was only, she was 16 as well, I believe. And she, she got shot right here on the corner of Melrose and Fairfax. Yeah, so she was at the bus stop, so the bus stop would have been right here. Yeah, I need to start doing more unsolved murders. Did you guys hear that uh, John Walsh? Uh, I mean, I think the show has already started. John Walsh has he has uh, started uh, up America's Most Wanted again. And you know what really angers me about that is the fact that and, and I'm yeah. And, I, and listen, and listen. Uh, I want you guys. I, I'm actually serious when I say this. I'm actually listen, listen, listen. Uh, I don't want you guys thinking like I'm a narcissist or I think I'm anybody because I ain't I ain't nobody. I, I ain't no better than a raccoon. And I mean that. But I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little uh I'm a little sad that they didn't contact me for a job. I'm I'm serious. Like I I, I they don't know who I am, but I I'm I'm you know, I, I would love I would I would have loved for John Walsh to have called me and be like, hey man. I seen your TikTok, and uh, I need you on my team. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Hey, John Walsh. Hey, can I get a job with you? Listen, here's the thing. I don't even need to be. You don't need to pay me. I'm not looking for money. I just, I just, I, you, you need a guy like me that's on the ground to like, to like be associated with you guys. We need to, you know, yeah. Come on, come on, John Walsh, call me. You got my number. I know you, I know you watch my videos, John. No, actually you don't, but. Who is this weird guy? Um, good evening, America. I can't do a John Walsh impersonation. I have to like really look at him. I know he has these eyes. He has these beady little eyes to make him look uh, evil. 
Good evening from Washington, D.C. I'm John Walsh. I think if I practice a John Walsh, I think, I think I'd be able to get it down. Well, I, I walked a little longer than I wanted to, but hopefully I lost at least 20, uh, 20 calories. <laughs> I burned 20 calories. I need at least 40 pounds, but 20 calories. So. Anyways. All right, let's turn the camera back around. Yeah, but if, if John Walsh, if you're out there, my friend, if you are out there, holler, holla, holla at me. Holler, holler at your boy. Uh, Slim Za from South Africa. That's a country that I'm looking forward to uh, traveling to hopefully one day. A lot, of, a lot of crime in South Africa. That's a dangerous place. I wish I was able to carry a gun with me when I go over there. But uh, yeah, South Africa, they got problems, kiddo. They got problems. You got problems. We got problems. South Africa. Yeah. If I do go over there, I'm going to be there for a, a month. Come to Florida and do videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually, somebody reached out to me uh, 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 about uh, their 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 kid who was uh, killed. So I'm going to be uh, interviewing uh, the mother when I get out there. Yeah, um, Florida. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get out there. That's the only problem. That's the only problem. You know, I tell you, um, I'm like so behind on stuff. I'm technically supposed to be in Florida. I was supposed to be out there in March. And there's no way I'm going to be able to, to do it. So, Oh, you missed the, uh, the live last night? No, you didn't miss anything. I was just drinking beer and rambling. That's about it. That's about it. All right, guys. I got to finish this video up. It'll take me one minute. And then uh, I'm going to start walking back to my vehicle and... My next uh, destination is North Hollywood. If you're in North Hollywood, come find me. Say hello. I'll catch up with you on the next one. Peace out.